Hi guys, Jed Johnson from Diesel Crew here. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, the button's right up here. Go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. I put out a video almost every day and I'd love to have you subscribe. Today's video is on how to properly set a gripper. Um, one of my Facebook friends, Brian Lederman, shot me this note on Facebook. I'm proud to answer his question and, uh, and help him out. This is a gripper from Iron Mind. It is the guide. So it's only rated at about 30, a little less than 31 pounds. If you want to see how to rate grippers, there's a link right here. Just click on that when you're, when you're done with this video and you'll be able to watch that as well. But for right now, let's go ahead and look at how to set the gripper. First off, you're going to want to locate what's called the dog leg. The dog leg of the gripper is the gripper that is straight and then abruptly turns. Okay? This is the dog leg here. Conversely, this is the ant or the non-dog leg. Okay? And you can see that this is a much more gradual turn to the spring. Okay, so I'll get a nice close up there. Gradual turn, abrupt turn. You're going to want to put the dog leg, the one with the abrupt turn, into your hand. Okay, so you're going to do this. You're going to put the gripper handle with the dog leg in your hand. And you're going to position that right along this line in your hand. You actually want the gripper as forward as much as you can. So how do you do this? First off, you place it properly. So you don't want to put the gripper back here like this. That's, that's going to kill you. I mean, you can still close it, but it's much harder. All right. So there's two things you're going to do. You're going to place it properly right there where I just said, and you're going to push your thumb forward. Okay, so you want to get used to pushing the thumb forward and touching the ends of your fingers prior to putting the gripper in your hand. Because when you do that, you create a perfect pocket. You can see right there, there's your pocket. You just put the gripper into the pocket and it's right where it needs to be. Now, one other thing, not only just putting it forward in your hand, you also want the angle proper, uh, set properly. So when you do this, the back handle is going to sit lower on your hand than the front handle. Okay? You can see there, this handle is lower than the front handle. If you go like this, it's not going to work right, and I'll show you why in just a minute, but you can see that the front handle is lower than the back handle. You want the back handle lower. And again, that's the dog leg handle. Alright, so there you go. That is your proper placement. Now, setting the gripper. What exactly is setting the gripper? Well, not everyone has the same size of hands. I, my hands are eight and a half inches long, meaning taking the measurement from the back of my wrist to my fingertip, it's actually eight and a half inches. Most people are probably in uh, the seven to eight inch range. That's kind of like the, the normal range. So, in order to get an advantageous grip on the, on the gripper handles, there's much more to it than just sticking your hand on there and squeezing. And we call that setting the gripper. So what we'll do is we can position the gripper in a partially closed position in order to wrap our fingers better and get a better squeeze on the gripper. Now this is how you're going to do this. You're going to form this position with your non-gripping hand. Okay? So your thumb is up, and then you've curved your finger. These are the two digits that you're going to use in order to set the gripper. The thumb, simply make sure that the gripper stays put in your gripping hand. The finger, that is the one that is going to help assist the gripper into the set position. So, again, placement has to be correct. Lower, or the, the back handle is lower than the front handle. Next, my thumb will be positioned against the bottom of the back handle, something like this. Then I'm going to hook 
onto the front handle with that finger. Okay, so boom, I'm pressing against my hand, boom, I'm hooking on the front handle. So this is how the set looks. Alright, I'm going to start pulling it in, I'm going to start wrapping my hand. Okay, now you can see there's a little bit of space there, that's where my finger was. No problem, that's where your pinky's going to go. Okay, so it's going to be look, looking like something like that. Now, a lot of people are not going to be happy with a set like that because you've decreased the range of motion so much. No problem. It's all up to you. In grip contests, we set to parallel. So the athlete sets it down and then you have to allow the judge to look at the handles and make sure that they're parallel. If they get set beyond parallel, then they have to open it back up and then squeeze it. Okay? Or the or the if they if they set it too deeply and they don't open it back up, the judge will say, no, that's a bad, that's a bad attempt, and then you lose your turn. So let's say you're not happy with the parallel set. You want to do something wider. Perfectly fine. All you have to do is pay attention to where the grippers at and then just only set it to that position. Okay, so this might be something that you like better, that's more like an inch, inch and a half space between the handles, and then you squeeze it down. If you're interested in certifying on the number three, three and a half, or number four gripper through Iron Mind, then those sets are out the door because they are not permitted any longer. It used to be that you could set it down, and as long as the judge could see the last inch of space, you were allowed to squeeze down for an official close. Again, that is not the case anymore. You have to be able to pass the Iron Mind credit card through the handle. Now, I'm not talking about this. Set it down deep and then swiping it like you just made a credit transaction at the store. No, no, no. What I'm talking about is you have to allow the width of the credit card handle to pass through the gripper handles. Okay? So, again, the width of the credit card has to be able to be passed through the space of the gripper handles. Alright, so this is how this is done. If you hold on to this, it's okay, but it can make you fumble around. So the best practice is really to clamp down on it in your mouth, just in your lips. You don't have to bite it really hard, just keep it in your, in your lips so that you can grab it very easily. So other than that, the set is the same. I'm not going to put this in my mouth right now because I have to talk. So I'll just put it there. But other than that, the set is the same. Positioning is the same. Thumb against the back handle, hooking with your finger, you're going to get it into place, then you're going to swipe the card. Okay, so that's, it's going to look like this. Alright, gripper, or a credit card in my mouth. I shut it down. Now I swipe. Okay, it's too narrow, so I've got to open it up. Boom. Space there. I pull the card out, and I squeeze the handles. For the certification, you have to hold your own card. The judge cannot hold it for you. That makes it much easier. There's a degree of challenge in being able to co coordinate all these movements while you're under tension with the gripper. So get good at that if you're going to certify. you gotta, you got to get good at that coordination of movement with so many different things going on. Okay, so again, this is what it looks like. In my mouth, I'm going to get into position with the gripper. Open it up. Boom. Okay. Now let's take a let's take a closer look. Just a normal set here to parallel. The gripper's positioned here by that line in my hand. Thumb is forward. I push my thumb into the back handle. I hook with that index finger. And I start pulling in working my fingers into position and I close down. That's the parallel set. For the credit card set, I put the credit card in my mouth, just in my lips, set it down, 
Swipe the card. Boom. All right. Those are two of the sets where you're actually pre-positioning the gripper with your off hand. When you're doing that, it's really just a matter of the thumb driving the gripper into your hand and your finger hooking on that far handle, pulling it in, assisting your hand for the set. Now, there's lots more to cover with grippers. If you're looking for additional information on how you can close big grippers, I've got a ton of information on this at thegripauthority.com. I'll put a link right below here so you can click and join today. It's only seven bucks to join. That'll give you a 10 second, or I'm sorry, that'll give you a 10 day trial to see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you cancel. No problem, no questions asked. If you stay on, then it's 17 bucks. Very affordable, and it's great information. I've got nearly an hour long video of gripper training information from last January 2010. Plus, I've got other additional videos that I've added to the site. If you're looking for a grip training program, um, I'd like to hook you up with my eight weeks of grip workouts. I've got that link in the description below as well. So go ahead and sign up today and you can get that program free of charge. Okay? So I welcome you to do that. I hope this has been helpful for you today. And I'd like to work with you more, so please check out thegrip40.com. Alrighty? So thanks a lot to Brian for sending that question in. All the best in your training, Brian. And all the best to everybody that watched today. Thanks a lot.